The 2023 Ravens NFL Draft has been all about speed. First, Zay Flowers in the first round. Then in round three with pick number 86, linebacker from Clemson, Trenton Simpson. I'm Peter Bukowski. Joining me, Locked On Ravens host, Kevin Ostriker. Locked On NFL Drafts coverage presented by Ultimate Football GM. You think you can run an NFL franchise? Visit ultimate-gm.com to play the Ultimate NFL GM simulation game. Start your dynasty today. Kevin, this is a Ravens team that, at least historically, we think about as a defensive-minded team. They make the big play last year for Roquan Smith. They pay up for him. So what role do you see Trenton Simpson having on this Ravens defense? Yeah, this is such an interesting pick, and one that I think the Ravens defense is just going to love when he gets in there. He's someone who, you know, cl classified as a linebacker, but he can play all over the place. He's one of these chess pieces you could move all around the field. The Ravens took Kyle Hamilton last year at 14, and he is a versatile piece, played really well in the nickel and all around the field for them. So Trent Simpson is someone who can come in. He can sit next to Roquan Smith, who's kind of an off-ball guy, and do his thing. But then the kind of situation, I'm sure we'll talk about it, is what happens with Patrick Queen, because now they have Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, and Trenton Simpson. Even if you move around Trenton Simpson a little bit on the, the defense, wherever you want to put him, where does Queen fit in future-wise after the Ravens gave that $100 million contract to Roquan Smith? But I think Simpson is someone, you know, the Ravens have valued speed. Obviously, Zay Flowers, as he talked about, and obviously Simpson with his speed as well. He's he, John Harbaugh called him a missile, you know, just shooting out of gas, being able to <laughs> be an incredible force in the coverage. I think the coverage ability is something the Ravens really need. They have historically struggled to cover running backs and tight ends. And now I think this gives them an aspect of that where they can put Trenton Simpson on someone. They can put Kyle Hamilton on someone. You can move these guys around and just force these offenses, the game plan for 10 million different things and not really know what to expect. So I, I like this pick a lot. I know a lot of people wanted corner. That would have been my first choice, but the Ravens are a BPA team here. Their best player available through and through. This is 100% what this was. Yeah, and, and Trent Simpson is built like in the 90s. He would have been a safety at about 220 pounds, but he, I mentioned that elite athleticism, that speed. I'm so glad you brought up Patrick Queen because I was going to ask you about what this means for the future of Patrick Queen. And it seems like the answer is the writing is on the wall for him. It is put up or shut up time for him. Uh, you mentioned cornerback as a potential spot here. What about pass rush? Is he someone that you think could be used? Not, not quite in the Jamal Adams role, but as someone who, if he's a missile, how about sending him at quarterbacks? Yeah, I think I think it's a great role for him. And if the Ravens decide not to move on from Patrick Queen, I, again, we're kind of going to break down how that all works out over the course of the next couple of days and couple of weeks. Because at this point, with the Ravens have been very, we're not going to talk about Patrick Queen's fifth year option. That's what they've been saying. So we don't know what it's going to be for him. But I think that Trenton Simpson can go out there and provide pressure on quarterbacks. He's a physical player, big hit guy. And there's a lot to like about him. I mean, a lot of people had him as a second round prospect. He ends up falling into the third. I know a lot of people talk about the positional value of the draft nowadays with the premium positions kind of taking over. I mean, we saw teams like Detroit take Jack Campbell, which I got got some flack, just a little, just a little flack. But I think getting Trenton Simpson. Like the Lions, Matt Derry, not in <laughs> love with that one, I can tell you. But I think getting Simpson here is, is a lot better of a choice for Baltimore. And now I think the, the great thing, you, you mentioned corner, I mentioned it too. On day three, the Ravens still have a bunch of options. Guys fell out of day two that people had second round grades on and third round grades on. So if you take the BPA here in Simpson, you're able to, I think, again, get a corner to put next to Marlon Humphrey in that secondary and still use Simpson all over the field next to Roquan Smith. And, and a little fun tidbit here, when Trent Simpson was asked about who he grew up modeling his game after, he said Roquan Smith is the Georgia native. Love that. That is great symmetry. For more on the Ravens draft and all things Ravens, subscribe to Locked on Ravens on YouTube and wherever you get podcasts, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate you, Peter.